This video will be a little bit more about the ST, which is also called the SNT, which is also called the SRT scale on your slide roll. Uh, here I have the post Versalog slide roll, uh, which has the ST scale here in between the S scale and the T scale. Um, one reason for this arrangement, as we know, is that the S scale uh, and the T scale start at about angle 5.7. Um, T scale going to angle 45 at the right index and S scale going to angle 90 at the right index. Uh, but both start at the same place and we know that uh, if we want to continue the S scale or the T scale to the left um, we can use the ST scale which um, has that uh, number about 5.7 and really about 5.73 at the right index. Um, and then continuing backwards to about 0 0.573. Okay, so the, you know the ST scale uh, is used for angles, for sines or tangents of angles between 0.573 degrees and 57.3 degrees. And for sines, um, for sines or tangents, uh, those will be between 0 0.01 and 0 0.1. Um, I've already done some basic examples using the ST scale in other videos, so I'm not going to repeat that. Instead, I'm going to explain what's going on here in an elementary way. Uh, there are calculus-based explanations also. Um, but here is an idea. So uh, how do you do the radian measure of angle theta? One way to compute the radian measure of angle theta is you put a unit circle uh, with center at the vertex of angle theta, okay, and then you see this arc which is cut by angle theta and the length of that arc um, is the radian measure of angle theta. Okay, This is using the unit circle. If you use a circle with a different radius then you see how many radii uh, uh, you should use to measure this arc and that's the radian measure. So it's a, a measurement of the angle using the radius. How many radii is this? Here the radius is length 1 uh, so it's simply the length of this um, in the plane. Okay, now with this picture, uh, we also know that we can uh, define sine of theta. So if this is the unit circle and we have an angle here uh, where one, um, one ray of the angle is along the x-axis and the other one is out in the first quadrant here, uh, then sine of theta, sine of the angle, is this height here. This makes a right angle. Okay, um, so sine of theta is that height. Um, another way to reconcile this, if you only know about right triangles, right is um, sine of theta should be this over 1, so sine of theta is simply this height. Okay, now you can see that this height and this arc uh, have a significantly different length uh, for theta, which is not small. But if you look at the picture on the right, uh, what you notice is that when theta is small, imagine the angle starts at 0 and can continues getting larger. Um, at the beginning, for small angles, the sine, right, this length makes a right angle here, um, and this arc are about the same length. That's the trick. When the angle starts um, increasing from zero, um, basically this point here on the unit circle is kind of going directly upward, right, and then it kind of starts going more to the left as you get a larger angle. And so then this um, length here and the arc traced out are approximately the same length for a small angle. That's the basis of the, the ST uh, scale, right? So what you need to do to approximate the angle, uh, sorry, the sine of the angle is to compute the radian measure of the angle from the degree measure. Okay, the, it's also the same approximately as the tangent. Uh, because think here is the opposite side uh, and the adjacent side for a small angle is approximately 1 because this distance is approximately 0 for a small angle. Okay, so all you're really doing is converting right, the angle theta into radians to approximate uh, the sine of the angle. Okay, this is why the ST scale is really just a folded scale. If you notice the ST scale and you just look at the um, you don't consider the magnitude of the numbers, it goes from 5.7 uh, all the way through all the numbers up to about 57, going through uh, all numbers, right? Because the ST scale is really just a folded C scale. 
okay, fold it at this conversion ratio, right, because 57.3 degrees is approximately one radian, right? It's 180 divided by pi. That's the significance of 57.3. It's 180 divided by pi. It's the conversion ratio um, between uh, radians and degrees, okay? Uh, so let's just, let's just go to four degrees on the ST scale uh, here, okay? Uh, then what I see on the D scale is about six nine uh, seven. I'm doing this calculation here, six nine seven, and I know that um, if I'm using st in that range, it should be point zero six nine seven. Uh, let's let's compare that against the calculator's version. So I put four, I do sine, I get six nine seven. I've copied two more digits here. Let's just do a conversion of four degrees into radians. So this should be radian converting four degrees into radians uh, using this conversion factor. So four times pi divided by 180. Um, okay, 0 0.06981 and so on. You can see very close, right? So the sine of the angle is approximated by the radian measure of the angle for these small angles. Now one trick with the ST scale is that you can use it for even smaller angles uh, than the range you might think of. You can use it for angles, say, in the next order of magnitude down, and actually uh, any order of magnitude down that you want. Um, so let's compute sine of 0 0.3 degrees. On the ST scale, I should find the 3. Found the 3 on the ST scale here. Okay, then on the D scale, I read 5, 2, 3. Okay but I'm in the next order of magnitude down from the normal one used in the ST scale. Uh, so that's point, not point zero five two three, but point zero zero five two three. Okay, so you can compute uh, even smaller angles as well if you want. Uh, one nice consequence is the ST scale does direct conversions between um, ra radian measure and degree measure. So say you have 2.3 radians, uh, let's find that on the D scale. Of course, the slide rule here is closed. So here, two, one, two, three. Two point three radians on the D scale. If you look at the ST scale, it's reading one. Here's one, two, one, three. Or sorry, one, 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 two, one, three. Uh, one, three, two. Okay, forgetting the decimal point. Okay, so you have one, three, two on ST. Okay, just place the decimal point correctly. Two point three radians. Uh, one radian is about 57 degrees, right? So 2.3 radians, 132 degrees. Okay, doing this in reverse, you could find the number on the uh, the the degree measure of the angle on the ST scale. So 51 is going to be out here at the end on the ST scale, close to 5.7. Uh, so right there on the ST scale. Uh, then on the D scale, uh, here I'm reading eight about eight, I read it has eight, eight, eight before, or maybe it's 8.89, uh, something like that, um, on the D scale. Okay, so ST scale can directly convert uh, radians to degrees um, for any number. Okay, have fun.